I have been retaining for a very long time now. It goes without saying that my favorite benefit by far has always been that moment or shift when I wake up one morning and feel like an enhanced version of myself. Sure, some guys out there would like you to believe they wake up with superpowers. Lasers shoot out of their eyeballs with the innate ability to see through the fabric of space and time, or some such mumbo jumbo. Other guys peddle the divine, godlike powers of a superior being. For me, I just feel so much better. I feel like a version of myself who has just leveled up in life. There is a 10x factor that just makes me feel, for lack of a better word, enhanced. When I am on a seed retention streak, I always notice a strange duality when I am having a conversation with a woman, especially if she is really attractive. Stick around because I want to share some of my own personal retention attraction experiences with you. Welcome to your life-changing adventure of male self-improvement. Our mission is to help you develop into the best version of yourself. We will inspire you to overcome daily obstacles and coach you through the process of becoming a high-value man. Watching our videos will enhance the quality of your life. Listen up, gentlemen. The information that follows may alter your life. I have been noticing a strange duality lately. When I am talking to an especially attractive woman, there is a side of me that feels really lustful towards her. But at the exact same time, I also realize that I am really good at treating and respecting her as a person, not just an object of desire. This is what I mean when I say there is a strange duality. If you are still relatively new to NoFap or seed retention, you might be thinking that I should be really craving and lusting after this woman. You are also probably thinking how it would be so easy to objectify women even more during these retaining streaks. But that's the phenomenon here. For some reason, when I've been on a good retention run, my lust can be through the roof and even higher when I am in the presence of a woman. There is this moment where I catch myself thinking about how hot she looks or the dirty things that I want to do to her. But it only lasts for a split second. I don't let that thought consume me. These types of ideas no longer linger in my mind like they once did. So now I find myself actually focusing on the conversation word for word with total ease. One thought could be seen as obsessive and therefore more negative, while the other is more positive and grounded. If you are addicted to PMO, always fapping and consuming digital adult content, then subconsciously, you come across as creepy most of the time. You end up really attached to the outcome of a conversation with a woman. It's because you're concentrating on the right thing to say to her. You're thinking about what to say next, so she will end up in your bed or something like that. This actually takes a lot of effort and energy. All focus is wasted and nothing of value is added to the conversation on your part. However, when I am retaining, all my energy and attention is focused on enjoying the actual conversation. I find myself enjoying the moment and just being in the presence of this attractive woman. I don't care if it goes well or if I say the right thing because the end goal is not to get her into my bed. It's just about listening to what she has to say and being involved in this interaction of communicating with another person. It can be really magical to enter into a meaningful conversation with a sense of freedom where you're not always in your head about what you can say to impress her. This makes you more present and in the actual moment, just enjoying the flow of the experience. You have heard me say it before. Women are emotional beings and they are way more sensitive to feelings, especially when things are light hatred and fun. There's even a song about it, girls just want to have fun. It's true that no matter what part of the world you are from, all women want is a good positive experience. So they are extremely sensitive to those types of guys who are solely invested in the outcome. The same guys who are just in the conversation to say the right things in the right way, just good enough to take her home. So you need to know that you will always be hitting a home run while retaining because this will not be your goal. You are not invested in the outcome, so your vibe will genuinely come across as fun and playful. It really all boils down to a scarcity mindset versus a healthy mindset of abundance. When you retain, these sorts of encounters just become easy and effortless. Retention keeps you 100% in control of yourself so you feel abundant and whole as a man. You exude this positive energy when it comes from a place of completeness, and it is so strong like a magnetic force. Women can't resist, and they are drawn to this magnetic energy. This is very comparable to celebrity status. I have mentioned this before in a previous video. When a famous celebrity is walking down the street, they get swarmed by fans because they have this high status. They have a fancy car, stylish clothes, and all this money. They have a presence that is impossible to ignore. You need to know that they too are coming from a place of wholeness. Human beings are always seeking to be complete because we all feel like there is something missing. Like there is a big missing piece in our lives and if we can just get that job, that house, that car, that girl, or whatever you believe your missing piece to be. I am here to tell you that no matter what you have or what you don't have, you are whole. What do you think you are missing in order to make yourself whole? I'm telling you that the secret sauce is to feel whole first. Even if you don't believe it, you need that feeling first. 
When you come at life with the feeling of wholeness, the universe will grant you wholeness because that is the feeling and vibration you are putting out there. Like always attracts like. When you have that needy scarcity mindset because you feel empty inside you've got an attachment. Women are so sensitive to this vibe that it ultimately repeals them. But when you act from that place of wholeness and carefree abundance they can practically smell that a mile away. Yes, women can smell the retention on you because you actually give off a chemical smell in the form of pheromones. Women have reported how different a man smells when he is retaining his seed. Even though they can't explain it, they claim how sweat and a man's natural odor change with retention. Men who regularly practice some form of celibacy for abstinence have different pheromones than men who are known to fap. So with that being said, gentlemen, stay strong on your no-fap and retention journeys. I wish you all the best, until next time.